doing? Good. Five times on the Today Show, Good Morning America, and, you know, uh, all those shows like that, and tomorrow's show, and then uh, 40 shows in all around the country, lecturing in all over the United States, doing things, uh, writing books, putting out albums, doing shows. You know, you just you feel blessed. And, and the biggest thing is I, I love is having a chance to meet so many people along the way from different parts of the country. And that's the big thing. Appearances and you go and you, you talk to people and you see them firsthand. That's the thing that makes all the difference in the world. And when you meet people like that, it's great. And of course, miss, you know, meeting the fans is wonderful. There, you know, they, they love the music so much. And as you and I both do, we love the 50s and 60s. And, and the artists are fortunate. You and I both have gotten to meet so many, many, many of the wonderful artists. But you know, you said something a minute ago. You when you mentioned books. There's been some little twinkling uh, in my ears here about a book coming about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and how that came to be. And I know we've discussed that on the air, but now there may be a book to that end, you said. Absolutely. Uh, you know, because somebody well, was all, you know, ever since I got involved, I got involved with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as an idea back in 1982 with Dick Clark and Hank McCondy. And uh, 
it, it came to fruition, of course, when Cleveland got the, uh, the, the Hall of Fame in 1986 and then they opened the doors in 1995. But I, again, I, I kept notes, a diary, and meetings, and all the things that happened. Uh, Still cooking. Oh yeah, I called yeah. him this morning, yeah. and, uh, and Martha Reeves is 74 today. Wow! The Hall of Famer still there. So there are people out there who still keep the music going and keep it flowing and everything else, and that's what's great. That's lovely. That's lovely. Well, of course, Norman Knight has been in uh, broadcasting longer than I have, and I didn't think that was possible. But uh, well, when, you, when, when I think about it, and I, 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 I say to myself, uh, 53 years. You know, that, that's that's quite some time. Uh, but again, I want to thank you personally, Bob, for all the all the help that you've given me, and also with the Wixie 1268 88.9. You folks have been very, very supportive on all the things that I've done, and I want to really thank you for everything you've done. Well, we appreciate that, and Norm's going to pay it back to all you folks in two weeks. On August the 2nd, another annual Sunset Sock Hop Cruise aboard the Good Time 3. We load at 6.30, leave at 7 o'clock, and it's a lovely two and a half hour cruise. Uh, the Sunday Oldies Jukebox will be there playing 50s, 60s, and 70s. Wixie 1260 Online will be on the air up on the upper deck, and it's going to be music, music, and fun, and prizes, and we expect everybody to, to join us. Well, you know, uh, several years ago, Rick Fry and the uh, owner of the Good Time 3, he's a good friend, and we talked about uh, the things that people would love to be able to do here in Cleveland, and uh, we, I had the suggestion about let's try and, and be able to see whether or not people would like to go on a cruise featuring the, the solid gold sound of the music from the bygone era. And we did the very first one several years ago, and it was such a smash success with the people. And uh, it, it was really, really nice to have to go out on a boat, as you say, go for two and a half hours, watch the sunset, watch the, uh, the, the people out there, your age that love this music and, and we just had such a wonderful time. So, and you folks got involved with me last year uh, and, and I'm just very, very proud to say that you were very, very helpful in being able to draw a good crowd and I, and I, and I warn people that uh, if you would like to come because there's only so many tickets that we can sell, you better get them in advance because again, I, I call them all the time to find out how tickets sales are going very, very well. And uh, to be a part of it and, and trust me, people who have come in the past Bob and the people over here at Wixie Club 6 for George Arnold and also the people over at the FM 88.9 for doing a terrific job. Sunday Oldies Jukebox and Wixie 1260 online. And I'm going to amplify just a little bit on what Norm said. Every year, there's more people. And it's the same people from last year, plus their friends. And it gets bigger. So Norm was right. If you want to get on that trip, there's two weeks left, and there might be some tickets. Call them right away. Okay? <laughs> you want to do that right away, because it's a wonderful, wonderful trip. So I want to thank you, legendary broadcaster Norm and Knight, uh, who has been in a Cleveland broadcaster in New York and uh, you know a nationally known uh, very, very talented guy. He knows the business. Uh, he's the guy that knows when everybody's birthday is. <laughs> you get a call from Norm, you know you've arrived. <laughs> so, everybody, thanks so much. We've got to get some music going here and get, get moving on. Thank you, Norm, thank you so much again. Here come the animals at Wixie 1260 Online. And baby, please don't let me misunderstood at Wixie 1260. Thank you. Amazing. Here's the grand carousel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I used to ride, yeah. yeah I never we all did. I used to ride, ride and ride and ride.
I scared this young person here. Oh, oh hell yeah, that's my We gotta send this out to Bev, which is Tony Z's better half. We're also being videotaped right now by Ray Hayden here. This is Becky Sue, Buddy Holly on Wixie 1260 online.